During the partition of British-ruled India in 1947, about one million Urdu-speaking people migrated to East Pakistan, present-day Bangladesh. They came from different parts of India, including Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajasthan. After Bangladesh became independent, they had to live in cramped, unhygienic homes. In most cases, they are unable to access their basic rights like food and shelter and lack vital services, including healthcare, education, and drinking water. <laughs> In this humanitarian context, in 2016, Islamic Relief Bangladesh began the Shuchona 2 project. The three-year scheme aims to ensure comprehensive livelihoods within five selected camps in Mirpur 10, 11, 12 in Dhaka. With the financial assistance of Islamic Relief USA, two phases of Shuchana project have been implemented to reduce extreme poverty, sufferings and vulnerability, quality education, health and hygiene practices, and enhance social rights issues of this Urdu speaking community people. The project improves shelter and sustainable access to water and sanitation for the most vulnerable people. It is developing an environment in which families can develop alternative sources of income, giving the poorest households livelihoods, training and opportunities. And it provides children who are not in school with an education, helping them to integrate into mainstream society. Islamic Relief Bangladesh is the first time to get to the end of the day. The project has so far trained 500 people in different income generating activities. Each has received 12,000 taka to help them set up a small enterprise. Women are taking part in collective saving schemes through their self-help groups. Attending group sessions, members find out which skills are in demand and how they might use those skills to earn a living. They learn about their rights and entitlements. This develops their confidence to set up their own enterprises. Almost every self-help group is now self-reliant operating independently to properly manage documentation and meet regulations. So far, Islamic Relief has improved the condition of 150 dilapidated homes. The project has also constructed four community toilets with shower points offering private spaces for men and women. In addition, it has installed two electric deep tube wells providing safe drinking water to eight service points throughout the community. Service points also have water storage tanks, each holding 11,000 litres. More than 2,000 families are using the toilets and the new water supplies. Islamic Relief is also carrying out initiatives to raise awareness on different social issues in the community ensure social dignity and build harmony with mainstream society. A significant number of children were dropping out of school before they finished their studies. Determined that all children should get the chance of a life-changing education, the Islamic Relief Project set up three youth clubs. Around 800 students attended the youth clubs all eligible students went back to school. We strongly believe that our interventions are improving the lives of vulnerable people and reducing suffering in the stranded community. We also hope that self-help groups will be able 
to develop and implement plan of their own. Self-help groups will in time become organizations giving a voice to marginal people. <laughs> Thank you, Islamic Relief Bangladesh. Thank, Thank you, Islamic Relief USA.